I am back from New York, which I'm really excited to be home. I miss my husband and my dogs and my bed so much. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on my trip and everything and things that I did and insert pictures. Probably not going to get to it today because I have class. i got to leave like in an hour. And I definitely won't get it edited. No. I'll try to film it today. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to do a haul today. A lot of it's makeup. Go figure. I just didn't see a bunch of clothes that I wanted, and I had already put money aside that I was going to spend on my trip, so whatever. I wanted to try some of the makeup. Just so you know, what I'm wearing on my face today, I look super washed out, of course, but um, I got sent this. I got sent several items from it. I think I got all their blushes and their foundation and stuff like that, but it's Naked Minerals. I saw someone else here has it, but... Um, I'm going to wear it for a little longer. I've been wearing it for like a week now. So I can give you an honest opinion on it, on what I like. And there are some things that I really like from it so far, and some things not so much. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you what I got that's not makeup related first, which is only like four items. I'm not going to show you like all my souvenirs because that would be a really long video if I showed you like every shot glass and every t-shirt I got. But I am going to show you two that have nothing on them. They're just plain. I got these from Old Navy because I like to wear comfy clothes. Anyway, the reason I bought them, these were $1.49, so I had to get them. Oh, I want to show you these magnets I got, which I know it sounds really boring, but I got them from the 9-11 Memorial. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Which that is amazing and if you ever go to New York you should definitely go to it. I dropped that but oh well. Then I'm a really big coffee drinker so we stopped at Starbucks. I don't know where we were at. It was in Manhattan. There's a Starbucks everywhere. Not quite as many as Seattle but I got this coffee mug which I thought was super cute. It has like the little cab. It has the Empire State Building on it and everything, and I think the Chrysler Building on it somewhere. Anyway, last thing I got that was not beauty related that I'm going to show you is this keychain. How cute is that? And it has New York on it and then a little princess crown. I need to put this on my, my um, keys, and I need to do it before I go to class so I don't lose it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the makeup stuff kind of a lot, but the first thing I got, my, in the hotel room, the water was so dry, like, or not dry, Ugh. what am I talking about, so hard, it was super, 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 super hard, and I guess our water here is really soft and I never realized it, my face looked like crap, it dried out real bad, and my under eyes especially, like, if I was trying to put makeup on and was, da like, dabbing my concealer in, all the skin would shrivel this way. And it made my lines under my eyes look horrible. I look like I was like 100 years old. Which I'm not. I feel like it. But <laughs> the eye cream I got, it's benefit. It's potent. I used it that night when I got back to the hotel room. I used it that morning. And my under eyes weren't dry anymore. Like this stuff is amazing. I'm going to use it longer and do a review on it. Definitely. I picked up the Professional. I already had some. I was almost out, and I think I've got about like two more uses in my other tube. So, I definitely needed another one. This was my 100 point perk, and it's Coors Anti-Aging Primer. I did use this. I do like it. This is a good sample for a 100 point perk. Another primer that I got was Smashbox Photo Finish in Light. I really do like this. Um, I have their luminizing one, like I had a sample of it, and that one was okay. I like this so much better. Um, I got the itty bitty size, as you can tell, because this stuff is expensive. I know someone said it's like, you can use Monostat and put it on your face, and that's the same. I don't know, because I haven't tried that, so I'm not going to totally agree with it, or go against it, because I don't know. What else? Okay, I want to do a... I know, oh, and they're cutting grass, so hopefully that's not too loud. Um, I know y'all always hear me talk about Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, but I kind of want to branch out and try different bronzers. 
And I do have, my other ones are drugstore, so I kind of wanted to try some high-end ones. And I've been wanting to try this, and I did use this a lot on my trip, but it's NARS, the duo, it's um, Laguna and Orgasm. I have to say, I really do love this blush. It's kind of similar to the e.l.f. one, and I think I'm going to do a video on that as well to compare them. To see which one more bang for your buck, or however they say that. And then I got this, I think this was 10 or $12, but it was a set from Tarte. It has a self-tanner in it, which was a, this is really what I was wanting to try. And then a sample of Park Avenue Princess, and I do like this. I kind of want to do a best and worst bronzer. I haven't done that, have I? I don't think. If if I did, I'm going to redo it. I just made a mess. Oh, man. What else do I have to show you? Okay, two, like, under eye concealers that I got. My mom was using this one. And I usually use for, like, a brightening thing under my eye, the Maybelline one. But I feel like that one makes me so white. So, I noticed that she had Well Rested by Bare Minerals, so I was like, can I try that? <laughs> and I love it. It's so much better. It looks more natural. I just love it. So, I picked that up. And then the other concealer I got, which my favorite concealer under my eyes is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And hopefully that's not too loud because they're getting right by, like, my window. Well, I'm on the third floor, but you get it. Is the... Uh, Giorgio Armani Master Corrector in one, and I do like this on days that I don't want a lot of product under my eyes. And the last thing I got was this lip tar in Ophelia, I think. I'm not sure how to say it. This is what it looks like. I love it. I like putting white Russian on it, like over top of it. Really pretty. Um, and I'll do a review on that one later as well. But this is my haul. I kind of need to start getting ready for class. I'm definitely bumming it up today because I'm still a little jet lagged and my hip is so swollen that it's going to be impossible to put jeans on. So I'm wearing sweatpants. That's what I did yesterday. So thanks for watching. I will definitely film another video about my trip and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.